Good morning, boys and girls, and welcome to your math review lesson. So we are going to go over your Go Math Chapter 12 on geometry. We are going to start at lesson one and go through lesson three. So what you're going to do is you're going to need a notebook and a pencil, and you are going to be writing down your answers as we go through this math lesson review. All right, so. It says, how many line segments does the shape have? So you want to remember, a line segment starts right here, and it goes all the way down to the end. Line segments connect, and they form angles. Okay, so you want to count how many line segments there are. So from here to here, you have one. From here to here, you have two. And from here to here, you have so you should have three line segments. So I'd like you to do this next one to yourself. Count the line segments. Hopefully you're seeing where the line segment begins and ends on each shape. So hopefully you came up with one, two, three, four, five, and six line segments. So another review for chapter 12, lesson one, was to circle all the words that describe the shape. Now remember, a ray has a dot on the end, and then it has a line with an arrow. So I told you to think about the dot as like the sun. And this would be a ray of light coming out from the sun. So hopefully you see here, this has arrows at both ends, which means it continues on. And so that would be a line. This is a ray. Then over here, you are looking at this shape. And it wants you to circle the word that describes it. Hopefully you're seeing it has four sides and we know a four-sided figure is a quadrilateral the specific name of this quadrilateral would be a rectangle and since all sides meet at angles all of the line segments are closed at the ends so that would be a closed figure so here are all the answers if you did not get them And we're going to move on to chapter 12.2. Hopefully you still have that notebook or a piece of paper and a pencil so you can do this on your notebook as we go through it together. You just need to write down the answer so you can really challenge yourself during this review. So it says, describe angles in plain shapes practice. So use the corner of a sheet of paper to tell whether the angle is a right angle, less than a right angle, or greater than a right angle. Now hopefully you remember that if it is a right angle, that would be called, um, that would be a 90 degree angle. Oops. Okay, so that would be a 90 degree angle. That a little smaller. It's very hard for you. So you have a 90 degree angle. Then the next one says less than a right angle. And hopefully you're thinking to yourself, okay, what is less than? So here's your 90 degree angle, and it would be less than. So that's a cute little angle. So hopefully you remember a cute and that is less than a 90 degree angle. And then our other one, if you have a 90 degree angle and it goes bigger than a 90 degree angle, hopefully you're thinking to yourself, what is that word that has the B 
like in big, and that would be obtuse. So you have a 90 degree angle, which is a right angle. You have a cute little angle, which is less than a right angle. And then you have the obtuse, which is greater. So I'll slide that over for you. So you have 90 degree angle, you have an acute angle, and you have an obtuse angle. All right, so down here you see this little square that obviously lets you know that it is a 90 degree right angle. Then you have this angle right here, and if you were to draw, let's draw right here, you should be able to see if I drew this up straight. Here, follow this angle but you would see that right in here is where you would put your 90 degree angle and so you can see this line right here let's see if I can get it here this line is inside your 90 degree angle so that would be a cute right angle going down below right here. Let's see if we can draw some lines here. So if we draw your 90 degree angle up and make it so that you have let's make it stick out a little bit so it's straight for you to see. And then you draw your other line. You can see that this angle is outside of the 90 degree angle right here. So that would be your obtuse angle. And then over here, you definitely want to kind of turn your head or you could put your piece of paper in there and you can see that all these angles are the same. And if you take this, let's just say right here, you want to make it a 90 degree angle so you can see this with that you would put the little box right here your little square and you would know that this angle is inside of the right angle so it would be an acute angle and then we'll go to our answers on the next page hopefully you came up with all of these so one was a right angle two was less than which is an acute angle you want to get used to using those angle names. Then you have greater than a right angle, which would be obtuse, and then less than a right angle, which would be acute. 12.3, hopefully you still have your piece of paper and your pencil. And it says identifying polygons. So is the shape a polygon, right? Yes or no? All right, so you want to think to yourself, what is the answer to one and two? So you think about the rules of a polygon and it is a closed shape that is made up of line segments and no curves. So you can see that this is open here and then this one is curved. So hopefully you're deciding, okay, does this fall into a polygon category? And your answer should be no to both of those. Then you have three and four. Remember, a polygon is made up of line segments. It is closed and it has no curves. So you look at this and you can see that this is a four-sided shape. It's closed, so it's a quadrilateral. And then you can also see if you extended which we like to do. If we extended these up and we put our little guy in here, he would be trapped. So he is a trapezoid. Then we go over here and if we count our sides, let's just see what kind of shape this is. Um, first of all, it is made up of all line segments and it is closed. So it falls into the category of a polygon. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six. So hopefully you hear the X 
in six, and you know that that is a hexagon. All right, boys and girls, here are your answers to one through four. And that is your review of your math lessons, chapter 12, geometry, lessons one through three. And I hope you have a wonderful day and take care.